Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to review the Mellow Old Hand Cup Old Ham Couplers for the um, for ball screws, which you can buy on the Mellow AliExpress store for around um, 20 euros per piece or 40 euros for two pieces. I think you can the minimum is two pieces, but you can always send them a message to just get one piece. Um, the same as I did. Um, Mellow um, did send me this one free of charge, um, but only to review it and give them back some feedback of how I like it. So let's first um, go um, um, over some theory behind this thing. So what is the reason to have an old hand coupler? Um, so when you have a um, lead screw or a ball screw on your 3D printer, it is probably not 100% straight and therefore will wobble around. So you can like imagine like if this here is your screw and you turn it, it won't turn like straight. It will have a little bit of a wobble. We wobble around its own middle point or its own axis. And this wobble will be transferred to your um, print bed because you're mostly using printed mounts. And even if that um, this ball screw itself is stronger that it will just flex a little bit your part than that the ball, uh, ball screw or the um, or the normal lead screw will bend. Um, so to prevent this, um, there's the idea of having an all-time coupler, which is basically a movable um, two-dimensional um, plane. So you have one movement in this direction and another movement into this direction and together you can have any 2D movement here. And you will put them between your screw here and your bed here. And if the screw wobbles below, it will then be cancelled by the old time coupler and not be transferred over to your print bed and also into your or your print head, whatever motion system you're using. And it will not be then transferred as the known Z wobble. So um, I would like to test this with my own 3D printer um, because I have some Z wobble or I have uh, irrelegatories. Um, on my Z print or my Z surface um, on my 3D print and I will just see if this can solve any issues. So the first thing I saw is that one piece has a pretty good amount of play and because of this I'm interested if this thing will introduce backlash. So I have, um, I will just show you, I have a little measuring device installed on my 3D printer and when I'm turning my Z axis it will exactly show um, how much apart it is from the z-axis. So obviously this will get um, uninstalled later again um, when I'm then here on my spindle are going to install that metal block here. So one thing you will have to keep in mind is that mostly depending on your printer but on I would say most systems of your printer you will lose z-height on this mod. You will lose this amount in z of z-height and if I'm not wrong, this is like, I mean, I can just check here. Whoop. This are around about 21 millimeters. So you will, lose 20, you will lose 21 millimeters in that height. If you can live with that, that's okay. But if you have a rather small printer than me, you should maybe uh, think twice about it if you want it. We will see if it will improve print quality. Uh, print quality, we will print two prints. One is for, which really nicely shows that for, and one is like an, um, this little, um, um, hacker, uh, what is their name? Uh, Matter Hackers um, Astronaut. And yeah, so let's go quickly over how to mount this thing. So one side, um, it doesn't really care which one will mount to your print bed, um, like this. And I will try to, um, use them some, I don't know. Um, you will have to use some screws going like up here and then you can screw a nut from the top onto it. Um, or you can also do it from the other side, but you um, do not have any threads inside of here. And because of that, I'm probably going to cut an M4 thread inside of these two holes here um, because these are like less than three millimeters or just around about three millimeters. So you can see an M3 screw uh, will barely fit through here. So this is probably a three and a half or three the two millimeters or something. If I'm lucky enough, it should be enough for an M4 thread. Then I can just directly mount it to my print bed like this and have the this side um, screwed down here. 
And then on this side, I will use here on these two holes, um, some M4 bolts with their head, um, and then mount them with, um, with nuts from the bottom here. Oh, you can't really see them, sorry. Um, just mounted with the um, nuts to the bottom here of the um, of my nut. I will later on show you my installation. But that's the first thing I'm going to do. I will um, thread this, these two holes here and I will also then um, make these two holes here bigger. Obviously, if you can live with M3 hole, um, screws, then you can do that. But I mean, you have the option to use M4, so why don't? So I'm back with now freshly cut M4 threads inside of here. Need to say it looks really good. Let's test them out. So it seemed to work just fine. And the other one. Seems to also just to work fine. Okay, so it was super easy to cut those um, threads inside of here. I didn't have to drill any holes or so, I could just use the M4. Um, I don't know, what is it called? Threatening tool or something? Um, to thread these two holes, so it was super easy. On here, I'm not going to do the same. I could technically, because I then could um, bolt it in from the bottom side here, which maybe would make sense, to be honest. Um, it should be pretty easy to do. and makes more sense than having those M3 holes here. So I will also quickly do this. So I have now already disassembled my ball screw and have assembled the first part of the Altim coupler on here. I now go into white mode so you can see it a little bit better. Please ignore the dirty section up here. Um, so this is now how the Altim coupler is now installed onto the ball screw. And I have now here two M4 threads that I can use from the top to secure this to my mount. And I use two M4 threads now from the bottom to secure it to my um, nut then here. And now I can maybe see a little bit how this works. So this can now freely move around here. Imagine this would be the print bed, but the Z-axis motion would still be concerned. I need to say this is super smooth, like there's no resistance at all. So this is great job, Mellow, on this. Obviously the play here uh, makes me a little bit, you can see this here is then obviously backlash. Um, but we will see how it will turn out later. Um, if it's really noticeable, I have 100 iterations on my backlash um, test. And technically, if you're not using Z-Hub, this shouldn't be a thing at all. But we will just see um, how it will do. So I will now install the last part of it. And then we'll show you how the printer looks with this part installed. And maybe also how it sounds. Um, we will see us then. So I have now installed this old hem coupler here. And I had to change my installation a little bit. Because as you can see on here, um, there is first of all, um, I had my threads inside of here and then there is no way to have the threads um, on this holes up here and on this holes on here. So I would have to change my nut down here at 90 degrees and then it was also still not possible. So I had to use the flanged hole or the chamfered holes on here with some screws. That's then just what I did. And then up here I'm using um, threaded holes with the two screws from the top here. I didn't have to change my Y0 level. That's the same. And here's now back, um, here I'm now back with the, with the um, measuring device. And I will just run through the exact same test as before while filming. And then I will check um, the results on the video later. So yeah. Um, I will make a rating of everything later because the installation was a bit of a pain. And yeah, but nothing changed voice uh, on the vo vo voice, on the sound level. So yeah.
So as you just saw, the results were pretty much minimal, um, which I could achieve with my all-time coupler setup. So maybe it's not really worth it for me personally, because I will also lose around 20 millimeters of that axis travel, so I will probably uninstall it again and not use it. But if you have really severe Z wobble, I will show you an image or two right now, then it's maybe worth a shot if you keep in mind the rather expensive price and also the fact that you might lose that space. Nonetheless, I thank you for watching this video, I hope you liked it and we will see us in the next video, so see you soon.